Soon you could see even more e-bikes and EV charging stations around Denver. It's a part of a new grant program from the city to help businesses become more environmentally friendly. Our Rob Harris introduces us to one store taking part in the program and loving every second of it. For seven years, Tara Anthony has owned Flowers on the Vine. We want people to walk out with a smile. Anthony and her team love flowers because they can give that smile, especially when you need one most. The Flowers on the Vine location on 18th is close to several hospitals, so deliveries to hospital rooms happen almost daily. There are times when we go into the hospital to deliver and they literally start crying. Sometimes they're alone and they don't have any family and all of a sudden they get this beautiful bouquet of flowers and they just get overwhelmed. For more than a year, those hospital deliveries have been more green and more fun, too. We got an email asking if we wanted to be a part of this program. And I immediately said, absolutely, yes. I don't know what it looks like, but yes, let's try it. I've always been a huge lover of bikes. Flowers on the Vine was the recipient of an early grant program offered by the city of Denver and the Denver Streets Partnership to help local businesses and their customers move in greener ways. Flowers on the Vine got this e-bike for local deliveries. We usually will have anywhere from 10 to 15 arrangements, but they're small, big, so we can fit all of them on the front and on the back. The program has been such a help to businesses like Flowers on the Vine, the city of Denver is building upon it. So we're looking for ways, how could we as a city, as an office, support uh, organizations that are trying to like take the right steps in improving transportation in the city. Mike Salisbury is the Transportation Energy Lead with the city of Denver's Office of Climate Action, Sustainability and Resiliency. Transportation is the second largest source of greenhouse gases in the city. So Salisbury says helping small businesses and nonprofits to move towards green transportation is key. An electric bike, for example, has about 1% of the greenhouse gas emissions of a vehicle. So every trip that we can get someone to take with an electric bike is going to have a huge impact on transportation emissions. The city's launched a new program, building upon the grant Flowers on the Vine received. The Denver Mobility Incentive Program is offering up to $100,000 per applicant to either help their team or the people they serve get to and from in a greener way. They're focusing on local nonprofits to start. Tara Anthony and her staff are excited to share the roads and bike lanes with more e-bikes in the years ahead. Just going places without struggle and it's a good workout at the same point. I mean, like, who doesn't want to have a little bit of cardio and get paid for it? For Denver 7, my employees are okay with that. <laughs> I'm Rob Harris. The Denver Mobility Incentive Program is part of the city's broader strategy to combat and adapt to climate change. The city of Denver has set the goal of reaching zero emissions by the end of the year 2040.